on YouTube, how you feeling? How you living? What's good? It's your girl Francine. Today is Sunday, but today is not Sunday Fun Rush News. I'm 100% sure no one's really crying about it. I don't think anybody anticipates my Sunday videos, and if you do, let me know, because they don't get a lot of views. <laughs> but today is a segment that gets a lot of views, and that is my girl, I'm finna take your black heart. Yes, it is a Girl, I'm Finna Take Your Black Car segment and today's movie. Let me tell you how we got here, okay? <laughs> because that is a whole situation, right? So I was on my Fire TV and I was like, you know, I gotta, I wanna watch a movie um, for this segment and I wanna see what I have for free. Because I have a lot of movies I wanna watch, but I gotta pay for them. And I'm trying to put that off as long as I can. <laughs> so. I decided, okay, let's look through all the apps to see what we got, let's see what we got. And, you know, I could have watched Belly, which is the movie with DMX and Nas, and I started watching that movie, and then I was like, ooh, yeah, this is not the movie I'm for right now. <laughs> this ain't it. No shade to the movie. I haven't watched the whole movie, but the beginning took me, took me, I was like, I, I don't think it's the kind of movie I'm gonna watch that. We're gonna come back to that one. So then I saw this movie. It's a thin line between love and hate, right? And I've never seen this movie, um, but I was like, you know, it's Martin Lawrence. I need a laugh. I could, I could use a laugh. Let's watch this movie. And girl, <laughs> this movie is triggering, okay? <laughs> it's, it's very triggering if you are a woman who has ever been in a relationship with a man who just did not care and was playing with you even though you didn't need him. But you still had the audacity. This movie is triggering, okay? And now let me let me say, I'm going to try to be as professional as I possibly can in this movie in this review. I was told that my one of my other reviews was uh not great, apparently. So I'm, I'm gonna try to be professional, I'm gonna try to be professional, I'm gonna try to keep it my opinions out of it until the end, okay? Um, but if you've never seen this movie like me, I'll give you the synopsis, right? So we start off from the beginning, we get to Martin Lawrence's character, his name is, I think, Darnell, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is actually a movie I watched more than once, so I should know this. <laughs> and he is talking to multiple different women. Of course, you know, he's a player, he, he, he has multiple women that he's talking to, and, um, you know, he seems to be making these women feel like they're the only women he's talking to. and. You know, it happens, right? And this part wasn't really triggering because it wasn't very surprising at all. So this part was fine. Um, then we get to his place of work. He works at a club called Magic, not Magic City, I'm sorry, Magic City, Chocolate City. And he works with Bobby Brown, who apparently is an actor now. When did this happen? Am I missing like the plethora of Bobby Brown movies? Am I just, am I like, missing out like <laughs> I did not know Bobby Marrow was an actor um so that's news to me um he actually wasn't horrible he wasn't great but he wasn't horrible um and he's his co-worker and I am blanking on his name and I've watched this movie more than once I just kept saying Bobby Brown <laughs> so that's probably why um and he's just you know they work together and they have this um older gentleman who owns the place and he's thinking about giving them the club because you know he's you know trying to, you know, partner with them so he can have people that he can trust take over the money and the things that he, you know, can kind of let, let loose, right? And so they leave out this club and they run into a very beautiful woman played by Lynn Whitfield and she dressed to the nines, looking gorgeous, right? And Bobby Brown originally tried to talk to her at first. I'm going to find out what his name is. It's not Bobby Brown. I'll say that. But he tries to talk to her at first. And then, you know, Martin comes over after he's gotten, you know, um, pushed away. And it's like, you know, trying to give her some some play. And she ain't really feeling it. So he, she, he gives her, uh, you know, a flyer for their club. And lo and behold, even though she acted like she wasn't interested, she did show up at this club and kind of gave him the cold shoulder, kind of playing hard to get. Okay, cool. Um, then you meet his family, play, his mom is, uh, his mom is played by Della Reese, um, and love her, R.I.P. Um, and he has a little sister who's apparently going to prom with this little boy who apparently has a brother who's a player, so he's kind of being like, you know, and they like, look, I mean, what are you? <laughs> 
you're the same. So how you gonna judge? Um, which I appreciate it because it's like we know, we know who you are. Why are you why are you coming in here? What, what, talking about me? Okay, so cut to we see Martin Lawrence. He really likes this woman who you know played by um Lynn Witt. So her name is Brandy. Her name is Brandy, and he pretty much in my opinion stalks her. <laughs> at her job just shows up with roses and i'm i don't know about you and i said i wasn't for my opinion but this is something else in my opinion and that creeps me out that is not romantic at all i don't get the appeal of that you just show up not even just show up i didn't even tell you where i worked so you somehow found out where i work and show up creepy it's just a little creepy just a little bit but okay cool he did this little gesture or whatever and uh then again he he she she tells him to you know get the security get him out and then he shows up to this house that she's supposed to be selling because apparently i guess she's a realtor and um he said that he could pay for it but he really couldn't and she done showed him this whole house and then he reveals he can't pay for it and i'm just like so you wasted my time too but she loved it uh <laughs> So that's kind of what sparked their little romance together, right? One thing we do also get is um, his little long lost love, Mia, who is played by Regina King, who I love. I love me some Regina King. She is so pretty, just gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> you know, he runs into her and she's in the Air Force and you know, he really liked her even back in the day and he was kind of like, you know, trying to brush up on her you know and see what she's about and kind of find out she's talking to some other dude right and he's of course jealous as most men are <laughs> and they start you know having a little back and forth and at this point most of the plot of the movie at this point is you know Mia's with this guy so he's you know a little jealous but now he's pursuing Brandy because you know she's starting to give him more attention and Another thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way was that they went horseback riding and apparently he was trying to do something with her out in the woods and I'm like y'all just met <laughs> like and she was like nah bro I just met you uh I'm not trying to do that and he getting upset and I'm just like okay I'm putting my opinion on this I'm lying I'm, I'm going to I'm trying to be a good movie reviewer person but like this is my channel so <laughs> But I'm like, sir, um, you just met her and she's uncomfortable. Why are you being so rude? I'm confused. Um, so he kind of tells her, like, leave me alone, whatever. And then she shows back up at the bar, at the, the club, trying to get back with him. And he's like, you know, no, nah, I ain't trying to talk to you. Like, you, you threw me off. And I'm just like, that's, I'm confused. You did all this to get with this woman. And then she doesn't want to have sex with you one time, and now you're saying you don't want to be with her no more. I'm confused. Whatever. Okay, so, cut to. She invites him up to her, her house. There's a lot in this movie. This movie is two hours and like 10 minutes long. And there's a lot of scenes in this movie that did not need to be in there. There is a scene where him, Bobby Brown, and the other guy, I forgot his name, stuttering guy, talking about women and how women, you know, you gotta play them and blah, blah, blah. Not important. There's a there's a scene in here also, I think before we get to this part, where there are strippers that are dancing. I skipped that whole part. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of scenes in here that aren't really important, but the most important scene is that he goes to this woman's house, Brandy's house. She invites him over. Very nice candlelight dinner. They have a good time. And they are going to have intercourse. Okay. Okay, so this is to start off with the fact that it's hard to find clips of this movie in general. But this scene, it's impossible to find unless it's weirdly on a porn site. Because apparently you can see her boob. But I can't get this scene. So, sorry. I wish that I could put this in here because it's very important to the story. That's <laughs> right. And in the process of them having intercourse, this woman reveals to him that she killed her husband. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that would end intercourse for me. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, um, <laughs> I was thrown off. I was like, wait, what? what okay but he was he was still having intercourse with her he said oh he's abusive he deserved it <laughs> yeah 
I, I feel like, you know, once a woman tells you they kill somebody, when the crazy comes, you can't be surprised. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Because one thing I didn't know about this movie before I watched it was the ending. And this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Just a heads up. So, then we cut to... So then, you know, she's she's whining and dining this man now. She done got some. So she's like, she's taking him out shopping. She letting him hold the limo. She doing everything. Like, she's just letting him have it all. And I, that was when I started feeling triggered. Because I was like... I've been this dumb too. Yeah, I've been this dumb. It's okay. It's okay though. It's okay though. <laughs> and, I'm, and, for, and now I'm thinking, okay, so what happens? Like, how does it get to the ending part where, you know, things go crazy? Well... This woman done wine and dine, bought this man suits, let him use a limo, and he's sitting here pursuing another woman. Now, I'm not homicidal. <laughs> I'm not currently homicidal. But, um, if I'm giving you my, my car, and putting you in my clothes, and you're going to another woman's house, Yeah, yeah, I might, I might, I might have to do something. <laughs> I, might, I might have to, yeah. And he like and slept over, and it was apparently her birthday, uh, Brandy's birthday, and he did not show up. And uh, yeah, I mean, even if y'all just started talking to each other, for me, I, you have my car, sir. <laughs> But uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's get to the actual story. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Anyway, <laughs> so he starts, you know, him and me are now a thing. Apparently the guy she was talking to before, they're just friends. And she starts talking to him. And, you know, that's a little romance going on. But because he stood Brandy up, well, <laughs> she is not happy. She shows up to me his house because, of, no, mind you, he took her car to his house and her car is driven by a driver who probably knew where the heck he took him so uh that was dumb but she showed up at her house with a cake and a knife in it and he was like oh wow she mad it's okay so then he continues to, to date this girl mia and then brandy just shows up at his house cooking bacon well burning bacon and talking about making him pancakes and you know she really wanted to like make it up like you know why he didn't come to her birthday whatever and he's like yo how the hell you get in my house um and he wrestles her to the to the wall and you know he says oh you don't pick the wrong one and then i was like oh now i know where the ending comes from yep <laughs> this is it this this is it now after this point, pretty much it's just, you know, Martin Lawrence, his character, Darren, and he's, he's, Dar Darnell, not Darren. He's, you know, dating Mia, they're going out, they're having a good time, blah, blah, blah. And continuously, Brandy is doing some crazy stuff to him. She broke his windshield. She threatened to beat him up and his mom <laughs> came to his house and threatened. She was bold, okay? Bold. <laughs> then she, he, he went to the uh, police station to report her and get a restraining order. And she took all the wheels off of his car, <laughs> and 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 broke the broke the uh, reverse mirror and all that. Just just destroyed his car. Um, and he somehow gets it back up and running, but the windshield is still broken. He's still dating Mia, and then eventually she's like, "Well, no, sorry, I, I'm a little ahead of myself because after that." <laughs> She beats herself up. And this is when I was like, okay, now you're doing too much. <laughs> this is when it gets crazy. All the stuff before then I was like, valid. I wouldn't do it, but valid. <laughs> now it's like, sis, now, you, now you're crazy. Now you're crazy. Um, and I'm joking. Obviously I would never do anything or, or condone any of that. Now, as, a, as an older adult. Now, Francine, like five years ago. It's not the story, but. <laughs> Now, she beats herself up. Brandy. She beats herself up and is like, yo, she goes to the hospital and says that Mia's in the hospital. Calls him and says Mia's in the hospital. And he's like freaking out. And he gets to the hospital and it's her. And he's like, yo, like, why did you tell me it was Mia? And then the cops come in. And they come in because she told them that he beat her up. Which then I was like, okay, now you're doing too much. Because this, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. But, hey, this is crazy obviously 
Um, and then, so he goes to jail and um, so now he's like really pissed. He's like, yo, I'm upset. And then now she's threatening Mia. She says like, I'm a killer, essentially. He has to now break up with his girlfriend Mia because she does, he doesn't want her to kill her. And I understand that. So he breaks up with her. She's like, Ugh, I don't understand what's going on. And so it, to get to the ending of this movie, right? We have the club he, he works at, Chocolate City, it gets flooded because there's fire, right? And the guy who owns the place is really upset and Martin Lawrence's character was like, I think I know who did this because this is crazy. I'm assuming it was her. <laughs> so he drives to her house and then we get to the ending of this movie. And so, you know, he walks into the house and Brandy comes in, hits him upside the head with the boss. Cool. Ties him up, talks about, you know, y'all y'all men, y'all toy with us like we're, we're your toys. You take us off the shelf and you play with us and you put us back when you're done. And you don't care what you do to us. And I was feeling her. I was feeling her up until like she pulled a gun out. And then I was like, ooh. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> um... And so I was, 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 you know, watching this and I was, I was like, you know, he, she was, you know, put the cake in the face from the birthday cake and said, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And I was like, I like the, I like the analogies. I like it. Um, and so I, um, and so she makes him go up the stairs, shoots him, right? And he gets in the bathtub and she's going to electrocute him. Like sh what she did to her husband, That's essentially what she did to her husband, she electrocuted him. Um, but he gets out the tub. They wrestle, whatever. And through this time, Bobby Brown and Mia are on their way to rescue him because apparently Bobby Brown knows where she lives at. I don't know what kind of plot convenience that was. Uh, <laughs> how the hell he know where she live at? But cool, okay. Um, but they're there and they're trying to help him. Bobby Brown gets knocked out pretty much immediately. And <laughs> Mia, she, you know, Brandy and Mia had the little thing. She's like, you know, I'm gonna shoot her. But, but Martin Lawrence somehow got free. He is now hidden somewhere. And then they, he jumps out. They have a little commotion, a little whatever. And they fall in the pool, which is the flashback to the beginning of the movie. I didn't mention that. But that's the beginning of the movie. He was on the wonder how I got here type thing. <laughs> well, this is how he got there. Then he wakes up in the hospital. Mia's there with him and he talks about how, you know, he had to learn his lesson and he can't be playing with people, but Mia taught him love. And I was like, okay. Um, but Brady ends up in jail, but then eventually gets out. And he was like, you know, hopefully they mend her heart before she gets out. Cause she's just crazy. And I was like, that's not how jail works, but okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's a movie. Like I said, this movie is two hours and 13 minutes long and I could pretty much sum it up in like 10 minutes. So <laughs> it's it was a very long movie for no reason. Um, the, the beginning of the movie was essentially just a filler of him messing with different women and talking about this club that they're at and having dates at this club and him chasing after me. And in my opinion, this movie is horrible, right? Um, it's not a bad movie. I would say it's not a great movie either. Um, it is essentially a black rom-com. If you've ever seen one, they are pretty much all the same. And this is very much like all of the other ones. And I honestly didn't laugh until the end. <laughs> Cause when this was doing crazy stuff, I was like, oh wow. <laughs> but that was about it. That was about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I usually rate these and if I had to rate this, I would give it a maybe six out of 10. Um, it is very Martin Lawrence acting. It is Bobby Brown. Eh. Uh, I mean, Lynn Whitfield was the best part of this movie and Regina King and Della Reese. Honestly, just the woman of this movie. <laughs> Or that we're it for me, okay? Um, but you know, if you're, if you're, I mean, I think if you're a woman, you would probably see this movie differently than a man. So I will admit that. Like I've said, it was triggering because been there. I didn't, I didn't shoot nobody. Well, <laughs> I didn't shoot anybody, but been there. <laughs> so um, with that being said, this is your girl for the sake of black heart for this week. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Y'all tend to like these. These get the most views. So if you're new here, 
Hi, I make all different types of content, but you know, give me your comments of what you want, because I'm I'm very much interested in you know giving people what they want. I do some things that I want to do, and then some stuff that I know y'all like, and y'all like this girl from the Take a Black Card, so this this is probably gonna stay around. Um, so with that being said, I will probably see you tomorrow. Um, I have a I have a thing I want to do for Monday, but we gonna see how this weekend go. All right, and uh, I'll see you. Bye.